Good day. In today's video, we are going to solve the base shear using the National Structural Codes of the Philippines. Our first step is we have to compute the total weights of each frames. And on our second step, we have to list all the seismic considerations. These considerations include the location of the structure, occupancy category, the importance factor, the soil profile type, the seismic zone, seismic factor, seismic source type, near source factor which is the NA and the NV, the seismic coefficient which is the CA and the CV, structural design, and the numerical coefficients. All factors and coefficients can be found to the National Structural Code of the Philippines. The location of the structure is the area where you're gonna build the structure. The occupancy category can be found on Chapter 1 General Requirements, Table 103-1. It can be the essential facilities, it can be hazardous facilities, special occupancy structures, standard occupancy structures, or a miscellaneous structures. All you have to do is to find which category your structure belongs. Next, Table 208-1, the Seismic Importance Factor. Your seismic importance factors depends on your occupancy category. Next is the Soil Profile Type. This can be found in Chapter 2 Minimum Design Loads on Table 208-2. There are six soil profile type, the SA, the SB, the SC, SD, SE, and SF. Your soil profile type depends on the characteristics of the soil where you're gonna build the structure. On soil profile type, there is an exemption. If you do not know the soil profile type, you have to use the SD. Next to that is the seismic zone. This can be found in figure 208-1, referred seismic map of the Philippines, where zone 2 covers the provinces of Palawan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi, while the rest part of the country is under zone 4. And it is followed by the seismic zone factor. Seismic zone factor can be found on table 208-3, where zone 2 will have a 0.2 seismic zone factor and for zone 4 will have 0.4 as seismic zone factor. Next is our seismic source type. It can be A, B, and C. This can be found on table 208-4. Next is the seismic coefficient C, A, and C, V. This can be found on Table 208-7. It depends on the soil profile type that you are using and also of the seismic zone of the location of your structure. If it is Zone 2, it does not require the near source factor Na and Nv. But if it is Zone 4, it does require Na and Nv. And Na and Nv or the near source factor can be found on table 208-5 and 208-6. The value of NA and NV depends on the seismic source type and the closest distance to the seismic source. The closest distance to a known seismic source type can be identified by the fault finder and applications or a website from the DOST and after that you have to identify the seismic force resisting system that you are using in your structure or the type of frame that you are using. This is to identify the value of our R or the value of our numerical coefficient. This can be found on table 208-11A for a structural system of concrete and a table 208-11b 
for structural system of steel. The most common frame is the moment resisting frame system with a value of our numerical coefficient of 8.5 for special reinforced concrete moment frames, 5.5 for intermediate reinforced concrete moment frames, and 3.5 for the ordinary reinforced concrete moment frames. And lastly, we have to identify the elastic fundamental period of vibration of the structure in the direction under consideration, or the structural period, T. In order to find the value of T or the structural period, the formula can be found on chapter 2, page 215, method A, where T is given as the CT multiplied by HN to the power of 3 4 and the value of CT is given below and HN as the height of our structure. Step 3. Now that we have all the seismic considerations and the weight of our structure, we are now ready to solve our base shear. The formula for our design base shear can be found on chapter 2, page 214 on 208.5.2.1 which is given as the V or the base shear is equals to CV times the I or the importance factor multiplied by the weight all over our R times the T. And now that we have a value of our design base shear, our step 4 will be we have to check the design base shear conditions. These conditions can be found on chapter 2, page 214. These conditions are the following. After checking the conditions, we have to proceed on our step 5. This is where we have to conclude a final value of our base year. Now, you know how to solve the value of your base year. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below.